Hey everyone, what is up? Today I'm going to be filming a video. I'm going to be attempting a blowout for my hair at home. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to learn how to do for a while. I've watched so many YouTube videos on it, but you know, it has been a struggle because I have really like thick hair and so when I try to do it, it kind of just doesn't really you know look like i want it to but i'm gonna be trying gonna be really simple really easy so if you want to try this i'm gonna show you guys the products i'm gonna be using and everything um hopefully this turns out really well so to begin with super simple you got to wash your hair if you don't that's fine too but this is my hair after showering it's kind of damp so i'm gonna be blow drying it the blow dryer i'm gonna be using is this one it's the infinity pro by conair Excuse the lighting as well. Um, I know that it's not the best, but it's what we got to work with um, because my bathroom does not have that great lighting. I'm gonna be using my heat protectant. This is Tresemme's heat protectant. Um, it's just the heat tamer. And just because we not want our heat to damage our hair as best as we can. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be blow drying my hair. Enjoy the music. that um, this is my hair fully dried and I brushed through it um, it just looks like this as you can see that you're selling like medium length um, so what you're gonna need is a clip that's just what we're gonna do to, in order to separate our hair and the thing that I'm gonna be using in order to do this is the Revlon um, got the name of this but basically it's like a hairbrush and a blow dryer in one um, and this is just gonna help create that volume and kind of give us that you know blowout look so this will be linked below as well as all of the products so I separate the crown basically of my head just because that's the part that I want to have um, the most volume I guess um, like I said I'm not an expert at this this is just, you know, based on like the videos I've watched and like the look that I'm trying to go for, I just wanna <laughs> separate that real quick. So as you can see, I just have this part first, but basically I'm just gonna be going like this and then kind of like pulling it away from my face as well as like turning it in. And then you'll see like the technique I use where I kind of like hold it here and then I like let it go. So yeah, enjoy this little montage. I want a lot of volume so I'm gonna continue doing this all throughout this side of my hair um, I also like doing it in like other directions so as you can see like sometimes I put it over and then sometimes I also um, put it under and get that kind of going but I just want my hair to be really volume and really full so that's it kind of like midway to you know finishing this part of my hair um, I'm gonna do more of like the back area like right here and really go in um, but then I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like all right so this is what my hair looks like so far this is kind of like the first layer now I'm gonna let this hair down which is usually what you know like surrounds like my head Ooh. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, do it like the same thing. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna now focus on like the top of my head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first layer because I'm gonna do two sections. So like this part and then my back. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the um, brush or dryer and then I'm gonna twist it up and then you'll just, I guess, see. Thank you. 
but now that I kind of got like the front, you can already see like it's very volumed um, and very like poof, you know, and that's what we love to see. Um, but I'm gonna be taking the back here and then I'm gonna be doing that, so. In terms of the bobby pins, um, I didn't end up using them just because I want this to be like a quick and simple tutorial, but I feel like getting ready, you could like pin this up just like you're holding a curl and then just, you know, um, pin it like right here and so it would hold and then when you leave, you could like let it out so that the volume is preserved, but I wanted this to be a quick tutorial, so. much um my like at home blowout I guess that I wanted to film and record um I think that it turned out like pretty good like the volume in my hair is really nice it, it really like made my hair look like really silky and really smooth um I would not actually recommend doing this more than probably like two to three times a week just because you're putting heat on your hair and you don't want your hair to like be super damaged. I think that it's such a put together, beautiful like look for your hair. Um, you know, it gives you volume. Again, I'm still learning how to do this, but I think for the most part it's good, especially if you don't have layers. I don't have layers and I think that people that do have layers, when they do this, it just emphasizes their hair, especially girls that have curtain bangs like you've been seeing on TikTok. But I do not have layers, um, so maybe over time I'll check back in with you guys and you know do a routine of how I blow out my hair when I have layers because I do plan on cutting it. Um, but this is just what my hair looks like now. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Um, one thing that I love to do is I like taking a volume spray and then I like spraying it so that my hair like holds the, um, the volume and that's something that you can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will get back to you guys really soon. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.